guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books to help you fix your books. Now that we're done entering the monthly transactions, it's time to reconcile the bank accounts and credit cards. This is actually the most important part and the most overlooked part in small businesses. So I made um, a fictitious bank statement and credit card statement so you guys um, understand what I'm talking about and I will link them down below or I'll put them somewhere here so you can see them or have a copy so you understand what I'm doing. So this is the fictitious bank statement that we're um, going to be using as our reference for this reconciliation. And this is Is, uh, this other one is the fictitious credit card statement that we are going to also be using for this reconciliation. I will link both of these down below so you understand what I'm talking about. And so let's start with the credit card reconciliation because that is very, very easy and very quick. There are only two transactions in the credit card statement. So we're going to go to accounting, reconcile. What we want to reconcile is the credit card. The ending balance is 31.53 and the ending date, and you will see this on the statement, is Feb 12, 2020. Start reconciling. And then the two transactions on the statement is for Talently and Toronto Hydro. Just click finish now and that's it. You've reconciled your credit card. The next thing we need to reconcile the next account is the checking account. Sorry, uh, don't include this. I'll close without something. Yep. Okay. So the next thing that we have to reconcile is the checking account. So again, based on the statement, the ending balance is 2690.82 and the ending date is February 28, 2020. Click start reconciling and then for all the transactions on the deposit, click that. So 2676, all the transactions you see on the bank statement and then the payment we received, 391. And then all the transactions that we paid for, that are on the bank statement, just click all of them. And you see the difference is zero. You will only be able to reconcile um, a bank account or a credit card account if the difference is zero. If there's a difference here, the uh, QuickBook, the software itself, will not allow you to reconcile the statement. So click finish now. And that's it. You're, <laughs> you, you've done all of the transactions in a month. You've also reconciled a bank account and a credit card statement. And if you want to see your reconciliation report, you can go to history by account. This is the checking account view report. And you can see that your bank account has been fully reconciled. And that's it. That is accounting for freelancers. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.